Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. January 15th. Uplift Jesus as the center. Tell it to every kindred and nation, tell it far and near. Earth's darkest night will fade with the dawning, Jesus will soon appear. Children of God, look up with rejoicing, shout and sing his praise. Blessed are they who, waiting and watching, look for the dawning rays. Hail him, the King of glory, once the Lamb for sinners slain. Tell, tell the wondrous story, Jesus comes to reign. Uplift Jesus as the center. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Revelation chapter 22 verse 16. The perils of the last days are upon us and in our work we are to warn the people of the danger they are in. Let not the solemn scenes which prophecy has revealed be left untouched. If our people were half awake, if they realized the nearness of the events portrayed in the revelation, a reformation would be wrought in our churches and many more would believe the message. We have no time to lose. Advance new principles and crowd in clear cut truth. It will be as a sword cutting both ways. But be not too ready to take a controversial attitude. There will be times when we must stand still and see the salvation of God. Let Daniel speak. Let the revelation speak and tell what is truth. But whatever phase of the subject is presented, Uplift Jesus as the center of all hope, the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. We do not go deep enough in our search for truth. Every soul who believes present truth will be brought where he will be required to give a reason of the hope that is in him. The people of God will be called upon to stand before kings, princes, rulers, and great men of the earth, and they must know that they do know what is truth. They must be converted men and women. God can teach you more in one moment by his Holy Spirit than you could learn from the great men of the earth. The universe is looking upon the controversy that is going on upon the earth. At an infinite cost, God has provided for every man an opportunity to know that which will make him wise unto salvation. How eagerly do angels look to see who will avail himself of this opportunity? When a message is presented to God's people, They should not rise up in opposition to it. They should go to the Bible, comparing it with the law and the testimony. And if it does not bear this test, it is not true. God wants our minds to expand. He desires to put his grace upon us. We may have a feast of good things every day, for God can open the whole treasure of heaven to us. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.